So as you guys can tell, we're about to be doing some ghost face nails. Welcome back to my channel. I'm using majority of the Young Nails gel colors and pots and paints. So thanks for tuning in for this tutorial. My Instagram is Sam Nailed It, and just keep on watching. So if you don't want to sit through this and you want to skip through all the base colors, the video starts at 1 minute and 52 seconds. So after applying my base colors, I went in with Daily Charms Foil Transfer Gel, put a nice light coat on that, and I cured that for 30 seconds. And then I took it out and gently pressed, or hard pressed, it into the nail. After that, I top coated. So at this point you are ready to paint your detailed nail art on. So if your base colors are sticky after you, you're done curing, you will want to put a non-wipe top coat on top of that. That way your nail art will just glide on easily and you won't have any mistakes. Listen, I know ghost face is looking kind of creepy right now. You don't really see the vision, but it's going to come together soon. Um, Young Nails has a detailed liner brush that comes with the whole entire collection of mission control gels but I lost mine so I'm just using what I have on hand I'll also link that in the description below if you're interested in that um, yeah you're gonna see the vision soon it's looking really really weird right now I thought the same as well but I'm also using a small brush to clean up my mistakes I dip my brush in alcohol and then I just swipe off the extra and clean up By no means that I'm telling you guys that this is the only way you can do ghost face. I did my ghost face last year completely differently. I did it in 2015 completely different as well. So it's just your preference. I added little black lines to give the mask some type of dimension and different types of depth in there. Um, so whichever way you do it is perfectly fine. But this is just how I did it this year. My favorite thing about gel is that you can cover up your mistakes easily so if you like use too much black you can easily cover that up with white gel. It's just so much easier than acrylic paint. I'm not trying to bash that because that's what we all started with. I love that acrylic paint as well but gel is just, it's just a different level. After every major part, I go ahead and cure it. That way I won't mess up and like make it worse. So I don't trust myself. I cure after like I do everything. <laughs> um, so after that, I'm just gonna mix some black, a little drop of black in some clear mixing gel and I'm going to shade around Ghostface Mask. This is gonna give him some depth. depth. This is gonna make him look like he has a hood on. It's just gonna look so awesome afterwards. I'm dipping into my red and I'm going to make a tongue and then I'm going to outline that with black that way it looks super cool 
just like the mask. I used to be terrified of these movies when I was younger, but now that I'm older, they're not even scary. So, hmm. Mixing a little bitty drop of white into some mixing gel, I am going to shade the top of his hoodie. And yep, after that, I'm going to apply the Young Nails Finishing Gel. It's so awesome and shiny and thick. It's amazing. So everyone always asks how I do the drip nails, so I just take a little point, a blob of red gel paint, and I make a little small skinny teardrop, and I cure after each step. That way it doesn't run, and I don't mess it up. Also, if you make a mistake like this middle drop here is kind of too thick, you can easily fix that with black gel paint, and you're good to go. As you guys can tell, I used this top coat to, to cover some glitter the last time I used it. So another tip is to make sure that you have two different top coats, that way you're not contaminating each of your gel tops. I really, really hope you guys like this video. Like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for taking the time out just to see what I have. And check my Instagram for more Halloween nail art looks. And I will see you guys in the next one.